Hey, good Fox here. It is Market Monday. The team of the week just launched. The stats aren't on Mutthead yet, but it is in game. Um, we got these two new bundles. We're not going to really go through these bundles much. Basically, what I want to do today is go through my last two Market Mondays. I got some feedback uh, from a watcher in particular saying, hey, all, hey, Gut Fox, you should go back through your last few Market Mondays and, and see what paid off and what uh, didn't work and whatnot and kind of give some accountability to yourself. And I'm all about accountability. Um, so these Team of the Week packs, very similar to – old. Uh, it's not currently up for auction. So uh, sometimes when these bundles launch it, I might have to back out and come back in to get them active. Um, the players are Deshaun Jackson, Vic Beasley, Set Elites, Tyler Eifert, Mason Foster, Bile Powell. I'm reading off the Mutt subreddit. Uh, Demar Demarius Randall, 88, the elites, the upgrades, Rudolph, Bud Dupree, hey, a stealer, Kenny Stills, and Okawar, the left uh, end for the Giants, with Rodgers being the set hero, the limited player. So uh, let's go through the last two Market Mondays. I guess I can go to the sets here. Um, in the last couple weeks ago, uh, I talked about the Black Friday set close. I said, I told you to buy these players when they drop and sell a day or two later, they went up quite a bit. Freeman, uh, I bought two of those Freemans, Jarrell Freemans, for 55k and sold them around 90k. Most of them went up 30% or more. So that's something you should definitely take a look into as when like player new players come out in packs. Um, same thing with the motivators. We'll get to those in a little bit. I did some talk about that in the next market Monday and the motivators. Uh, Man of the month, I said to buy silver Packers and Steelers at 550 coins each. Packers are going for right around that mark right now, 550. So you didn't win much there or lose much if you sell them. Um, depends on what time of the day you sell them to, uh, for what price. You can get it much more than 550 for them. And then the Steelers are going for 1,900 coins right now. So um, the Steelers you won big, the Packers you broke even on. For the Golds, I said the Bengals and Lions who are selling about 950 each. And they're both going for around that price right now, both around 1,000 coins. But that's right now. I was selling every gold for a minimum of 1,500 to 1,700 as the set dropped, with some going for much more, 2,000, 3,000. Browns up near 5,000, 6,000. Um, it seems like 950 is the lower limit at which golds will sink to. Uh, at that point, people just buy them for badge packs. So really, next month, I think we're going to advocate for buying as many golds, 950 or under, from any team. Give it the shotgun approach. I think it's best because we don't know who EA is going to give that great team hero to. You know, the Browns, Cowboys, those kind of things this past month with the wide receiver and the left guard Leary. So um, that's kind of the approach we want to take going forward with man of the month. Um, I'll take a look at Eifert here. So I said next. You can sell your team. These are going for quite a bit. We'll go with the high one. Nobody's going to buy this. 84 speed. Run block. 80. Okay, man, whatever. Pretty well balanced. 6'6". Six, six. Well, what's his jumping, actually? So I'm getting a little distracted here by the Team of the Week players who I said I wasn't going to go. 92. This is actually a good, pretty good card for high passes, 6'6". Six, six. I like this card a lot. Uh, what's just catching traffic? It was a little higher, though. All right. I said you could sell your team before Christmas and buy it back. That one is still to be determined. But I was on the fence about doing it myself since I won't be able to stream with the team uh, this upcoming week. But I don't have a computer anyway to stream with. I got to go through the crappy Xbox system. Um, but since about this accountability thing came up, I will sell my team and buy it back, checking how many coins it gets for each player. A lot of the guys are listed right now. You can sell um, my Donald, but let's go to the sold. Brady, Casey, Williams, that one expired. Mac, Tomlinson. I sold all these guys. I'm selling them. I'm in the process of selling it. Um, I'm going to be cutting it a little close to Christmas promo, especially if it comes out tomorrow. But like when you do sell-offs, do strategic sell-offs, don't just list everything for the lowest buy it now possible. Make sure you're going to get some profit. Make sure the price isn't already depressed from that. So like if I don't, I'm not able to sell them all off, I'm not going to sell them all off, of course. If I, I see the Christmas promos coming, I'm like, all right, this is probably the bottom. Um, then I won't uh, do that like that. All right, so that's in the works. And then the next time I said I, I do a lot of tips I realize in the auction house, not just investments. So I said the be the first to sell the card that was just released. List it and sell right away. So on these team on these uh, team of the week, somebody always wants to be the first one to buy these team of the week players. Um, if you can't be first or second, pull the card down and wait for the initial rush to die. I mean, team of the week is a little bit of an exception uh, because so many people are pulling these things right away. Just list them because you might be able to get somebody to, to snap on something um, pretty high. But otherwise, like I'm talking like uh, the brand new sets released, the new limited cards, uh, that Rogers, you want to be the first one to sell him. And then uh, this happened in a major way with the motivator packs. See, these Randalls are kind of dipping down 39K. This might be 
actually what he ends up settling for. So you might want to wait a little bit, and you might be able to get it back up near 48K. So yeah, 38K just got bought. Randall, oh, 92 speed. Not bad. Uh, he's got a not the greatest of chems. Okay, what's his block shed? Block shedding. 58. Okay, not a bad corner, actually, for a butt. Ooh. All right, they're getting snatched up pretty quickly. So, see how this this 38, 39K right here? That, I feel, is a little low for this 88 overall. And it's going to go, it's now back up to 58. So, this guy right here, because he wasn't the first, he was one of the, you know, it goes dip. So, that it starts high, dips down quick, and then bounces back up and settles. Um, you want to be a part of that bounce up. Um, and then it's going to, you know, settle back down a little bit. So, you want to be bounce up, not 39K guy. All right, so um, next, Football Outsiders collectibles I talked a bit about uh, from week 10, 11, and 12. 12 hasn't changed much. It's gone up. I bought them at 4K. They're selling for just under 7K right now. Um, so good ROI, but it's only a couple thousand coins for having to sit on something for, I don't know, a week. I've had to sit on 12 for. Um, but the 10, 10, 11, I ran out of 11 and sold all those for minimum 5,000 coins a pop profit. Um, but there's such low volume that it's really not that great of an investment because the volume buy and sell volume isn't very high. Um, and your profit margin will be 0% if you sell at the wrong time. So make sure and time your sales on those because the turnover is so slow. I, I only love a limited investment in football outsiders. It's not going to be it's not gonna be a great investment for you to make riches, but just a couple extra spending coins. Um, buy milestone players. When their solos are in the games and sell a few days later. So, like, for example, this Cooks card that I have, uh, we'll go to the Cooks. It can vary anywhere from like 80s, this Motivator Cook, uh, and same with this Leary. This Leary can go anywhere from like 140 to 190, depending on what day you get the, the a milestone set. Sort by overall. As you see, a lot of my guys are on the block. Um, did Leary already sell? Yeah, he might have sold. All right, so Cooks. This mo uh, Milestone Cooks. Did I say? Yeah, Milestone Cooks, not Motivator, if I said that earlier. 93 is kind of where he's at right now, but tomorrow he could be 118. I, maybe not with the Christmas Pro coming, but make sure and buy these things because people are putting these together on the days that they're released, these Milestones. And it. I have tracked this. It works out pretty well. Um, something you want to do. Also... You know, for guys that are man of the month, like Cam is this month, I could buy. I bought his base Cam for 40k on Saturday morning. I sold it for 55k later that night. So that's something else that because I've seen his price all the way up to 70 during the week for that Cam because people expect him to get a uh, milestone on the the man of the month like the previous few uh, man of the months gotten. But like say say you have Leary here. The day you want to buy them are the day passing milestones are in the game. So that's today. Today for passing milestones, I believe. Uh, and the day you want to sell him are the day that passing milestones are like four four days ago. Um, so that is that is what it is. Like a Thursday or Friday or maybe even sun. Not Sunday. That's a little close. Um, all right. My other and probably the most successful tip that I've given so far this year is the 88 overalls for the new 88 to 90 set. In my video, it was titled, Why Do I Have 70 Amoses and Brady's? I had more Houston's, and I bought some more uh, through the week until the set dropped. Prices went from under 10K. I was buying those, some as low as 6, you know, those were kind of snipes, to 9 to 10K. I was buying those Amoses, some at 11K even. So Amoses and Brady and Houston's all were going like 9 to 10K. I was buying a whole bunch of them. I was ended up selling them for 21 to 22k. They're all out of my binder now because they all sold pretty quick. Um, so if you had 10 of them, you made a hundred thousand coin profit, which was uh, pretty nice for you. I made a little bit more than that, uh, but then again, that was um, one of those you know gangbuster profits. We'll see if that works out again. 89 to 90s in January. We'll see if any 89 really dips down to that 10,000 coin price level as we get this Christmas promo and other guys release through these sets. Any other? Do they release any? Let me see if they released any 89 overalls on Team of the Week. Those are those are good to have 80. Yeah, they've released one, two. Okay. But these guys are – Foster might get low. But they're Team of the Week with our limited cards. Highest in the set. Yeah, I don't really see him getting down to a level where we can say he's only going for 10 coin, 10,000 coins or something. So we'll keep an eye on that for next month. Um, it's good to keep hold on to your 89s if they're in the 10 to 20K range.
Uh, but going through the rest of my market Mondays, I did realize how many of them are just tips on the auction house versus investing opportunities. I hope to mix that in well, uh, both that thing going reviewing through the past couple. Um, basically telling you guys, hey, this is what you should be out looking out for, sniping and other things to be aware of on the auction house. It looks like we had a pretty successful couple of weeks, these last two on the market Monday. you If you watch those two and invested, as I said, we just made a ton of coins together. Uh, but we'll see with the Christmas crash, though, how much that affects the market and our coin stack, if I can buy them back, or if that was just a bust to sell those guys at those price. I mean, the thing that really convinced me to sell the things, besides for being challenged on accountability, is when I look at these guys' overalls, they're low 90s overall. I mean, put it in perspective. These guys are low 90s. In two months' time, we're going to have 99s infiltrating this game. and Well, assumably. But like, I mean, these things are going for 100,000 coins. This is like 160 to 190,000. This one's five. This Vernon, yeah, his block should boost is so nice for the rest of the squad. It's going for over 500,000 coins. 93, 300,000 coins. It just seems, and these are le legends that get released every weekend. This guy's going for 1.6 million or so for 93 overall. So that's, he He actually, I mean, he plays like a glitch, but 93 overall, it will get, ner it will get, uh, I don't know, we don't we don't get too many defensive tackles, but that's what really convinced me, is just seeing their overalls and be like, well, let's put it in perspective here. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I will see you tomorrow.